People usually associate the history of Paps Blue Ribbon to the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where it all started. However, there was another famous Paps Brewery town known for the second brewery location, and its history goes back all the way to 1934. Let's see who's on site to tell us more. Hey gang, this is the Beer Collector, and I'm with Kip Rodier, and we're in Peoria Heights, Illinois. We're at the old Paps Brewing Company's brewery location, standing outside the 33 room, which was the original tap room here at the brewery. Now, let's go beer collecting. All right. I'm Kip Rodier. I'm a local collector, beer collector of Peoria items. Uh, we're standing at the former tap room at the Paps Brewing Company's brewery in Peoria Heights, Illinois. Uh, the brewery was shut down in 1982. This tap room has served as various functions over the years. A good friend of mine, Robbie Matheson, was able to come in, sign a lease for the place, and he had a company that they were using this for office space and they would also entertain here. And he knew that he wanted to, to bring back serving drinks here again. So the three of us got together and decided, you know, we need to reopen this as the 33 room. Dustin is a genius when it comes to cocktails and his cocktail menu. So it was a no brainer to have him involved in this. I'm the old guy with the old stuff. So I helped Robbie decorate the place. You know, Jim Searle and myself uh, loaned a lot of our collection to put on display here and March, Third of 2022 was our grand opening here at the 33 room and it has been a tremendous hit ever since. We have PBR on tap which we sell a lot of PBR. We have Blatz as well. Blatz was made here. Blatz is also a good seller for us as well. We have a red, white, and blue tribute beer called Premium Lager that we have on tap and in cans. So, so we have former employees come in here. We have family members of former employees come in here. They have all kinds of stories to tell about their family that worked here. Paps had an advertising slogan, 33 brews blended to make one great beer. They talked about their brewing process. So somehow somebody just, how about the 33 room? And it stuck.
January 1931, James Aylward came to work for a premier malt products company at the malt syrup plant, and this was his union membership book. Uh, January 11th, 1903 is when he was born, initiated April of 1931. Every time he paid his union dues, he got his stamp and they dated it. Really neat piece of history.